Welcome to today's video on the chemical properties of soil. The chemical makeup of soil is one of the most important factors determining its fertility and suitability for supporting plant life. In this video, we'll delve into the key chemical properties of soil and their impact on plant growth and soil management. Soil contains essential nutrients that plants need to grow and thrive. These nutrients are divided into two categories, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients like nitrogen, N, phosphorus, P, and potassium, K, are required in large quantities, while micronutrients like iron, zinc, and manganese are needed in smaller amounts. Nitrogen is crucial for leaf growth. Phosphorus promotes root and flower development, and potassium helps strengthen the plant and improve disease resistance. A deficiency or excess of any of these nutrients can disrupt plant growth, causing symptoms like yellowing leaves, poor flowering, or stunted growth. Cation exchange capacity, or CEC, is a measure of how well soil can hold and release positively charged nutrients, known as cations. The higher the CEC, the more nutrients the soil can retain and make available for plant uptake. Soils with high CEC, such as clay and organic-rich soils, can hold more nutrients and supply them to plants over time. In contrast, sandy soils have low CEC and are prone to nutrient leaching, meaning they require more frequent fertilization. Another critical chemical property is soil pH, which measures the acidity or alkalinity of the soil. Most plants prefer a slightly acidic to neutral pH, typically between 6.0 and 7.5. Soil pH affects the availability of nutrients and the activity of soil microorganisms. For example, in highly acidic soils, pH below 5.5, elements like aluminum and manganese can become toxic to plants, while essential nutrients like phosphorus become less available. In alkaline soils, pH above 8.0, iron, zinc, and manganese become less accessible, leading to deficiencies. Adjusting soil pH can be done using lime to raise the pH or sulfur to lower it. Regular soil testing helps maintain the optimal pH level for different crops. Soil salinity refers to the presence of soluble salts like sodium, calcium, and magnesium in the soil. High salinity can have a detrimental effect on plant growth by disrupting the plant's ability to take up water, causing a condition known as physiological drought. This results in willing reduced growth and even plant death in extreme cases. Saline soils are often found in arid and semi-arid regions where evaporation rates are high, leaving salts behind. Managing soil salinity involves techniques like good drainage, adding organic matter, or using salt-tolerant plant varieties. Soil organic matter, which includes decomposing plant and animal residues, plays a key role in soil chemistry. It provides a source of nutrients, enhances CEC, and helps buffer soil pH. As organic matter breaks down, it releases nutrients in forms that are readily available for plant uptake, supports microbial activity, and contributes to the formation of stable soil aggregates. Soils rich in organic matter tend to have better structure, higher nutrient availability, and increased water holding capacity, making them ideal for sustainable agriculture. Understanding the chemical properties of soil helps us make informed decisions about soil management, fertilization, and crop selection. By maintaining balanced nutrient levels, proper pH, and adequate organic matter, we can create a fertile environment that supports healthy plant growth and sustainable agriculture. Regular soil testing and proper soil management practices can optimize soil fertility and ensure long-term productivity. Thank you for watching this video on the chemical properties of soil. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with others, and subscribe to our channel for more content on soil health 
and sustainable practices. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.